Me and my girlfriend Nisi was on and off for 12 years. We have two kids together. We got back together in September. That was one of the happiest days of my life, and everything was flowing, everything was going right. I was happy, she was happy, the kids was happy. Then in November, she found text messages on my phone. She read the text messages, and the text message was stating that I was having gay encounters with men. I have no idea how them text messages got on my phone. Like, at that point in time, I didn't have no, um, no lock on my phone. I hang around a lot of guys, and I let everybody use my phone. Ever since this happened, I've been going through hell. I've been sleeping on the couch, had to stay with family members' houses, sleeping in the trains from time to time, and pretty much I'm back in the house now, sleeping on the floor. She's giving me somewhat of a chance to pretty much prove my innocence. I put Nisi through a lot throughout these 12 years. I cheated on her before, I disrespected her before, but I know one thing I didn't do was have sex with a man. I want to marry Nisi someday, hopefully tomorrow after the show or sometime very soon. I love my family so much and I'm willing to do anything for them. And I just need to prove myself to clear my name so we can move on with our lives. I found the messages in his phone and he's denying it, so I need the truth. And what, what did the messages say? Um, the messages, the, the top of the messages was like, um, what's up, bro, this is <laughs> um, Then it went on to, um, you know, do you have porn? And the, and the response was like, yeah, I have gay and straight porn. So that's where it got me like, wait a minute, what's going on? This is not a regular homie text message. So um, then it also said, um, do you have condoms? And the person respond, I have condoms and lube. And then the next message was, um, well, can I bring my friend? And then he was like, is he down with what we down with? So I'm like, like really, you know, shaking now. So then um, it goes on to the, whoever it was is giving him directions to get somewhere. So then he's like, I'm on the bus and I'm here. And then that's where the messages stop. So, you know, and I, and I look at him, I'm like, you know, he was also reading it along with me. So I mean, he's like, oh, you know, that's not me. That has to be somebody, you know, where I hang out at. It's this guy named You know, I'm going over there right now and I'm gonna approach him about it. And I was like, you know, I don't want you to do that. I want to be there when you approach this guy about right. it so that way I can see how everybody is behaving. So he was like, all right. He um, supposedly had called the guy up to have a meeting with him the next day. The guy didn't show up. I knew that that was going to happen. The following day, I gave him another chance um, to meet up with the guy. We, the, um, a guy did show up. And he looked at really nervous. He couldn't, he didn't look up. He was looking to the ground. And, you know, so I told him to, I told Omar to step away because I didn't want him to, like, intimidate him and scare him. So when he walked away, I was like, you know, um, do you know why you're here? He was like, like, yeah, I pretty much do. So I'm like, so um, you be using his phone? He was like, yeah, I used his phone. I said, you did those text messages? He said, yeah. So I'm like, you know, well, what were the text messages? So that way, you know, I could see if it really was him. And he was like, oh, was um, asking if he got condoms and if he had porn, you know, stuff to that matter. I said, don't lie for him, don't do this. And he was like, I'm not lying to you, you know, he has nothing to do with this and I'm sorry that y'all had to go through this. So we go home and like I said, it, it wasn't sitting right with me. Something my gut was telling me that it's not true. So um, come like a month later, I find out that the guy that he bring me, that bring him to me, right. his name is not So I'm like, okay, wait, wait a minute. So then I got on Facebook, you know, I tricked the guy and I was like, you know, Omar confessed to me. Why did you lie to me? He was like, oh, I'm sorry you had to find out like that. I'm not no gay guy. My name is not And he asked me to speak to you and tell you this. And, you know, I'm sorry that you had to find out like that. So once I got that message, I told him he has to go. Why did he have to have a guy lie and pretend it was some other guy if he yeah, didn't do It this? doesn't make sense, Steve. Right. No, I ain't gay, man. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. What? Why are you gonna do it? How you doing, Steve? Don't come out I'm, here I'm like not, that. I'm not, you know, Don't come I'm out not, here I'm like not that. trying to make a scene or nothing you like that. You know what the situation is. This was in your phone. It was in my phone. This is, it doesn't make sense. So why was it in your phone? I have no, how you say it? I didn't have no control over my phone then. I don't know why. Um, so um, this is in my there's a lot phone, of people right? who has your password? I don't have your password. At that point in time, I wasn't staying with you. I wasn't staying with you at all. So more or less, I didn't, I didn't have a reason to have a password on my phone. So you didn't have a password on the phone? It'd be more but you don't, you don't go through, like, say, you know, even if you didn't have password, wouldn't you go through a text and say, well, what the hell is that? I don't, like, when somebody uses my phone, I don't go back to my phone and just start looking through my phone. Why? 
I don't. Like, like, I don't know why. They also it could be a terrorist. Phone. It could be. No, right. You know, no, you this, know, this is a friend. Like, yeah, like, well, your friend, friend was hooking up, with, supposedly, as you say, if it's true, he was hooking up with another guy and made your wife believe that you're by curious. Right. Face? Have so you ever I'm had lying. sex with a man? No, never. You ever fantasize about nope, it? Nope, not even. Look, but half the guys out here are like, God, that's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. And then he, and then you get mad at me for you know doing this. Is this is the response I said that anyone would have? I'm not mad at you, Nisi. Like I said, I don't blame you. You know me for thinking how you think, because it, it is my phone. Like I said, I do take responsibility for it. But I mean, I here's, here's, me well, here's here's the situation. You guys have been together for 12 years. So that's a long time. Right. You're raising children together. Right. Okay. Um, I know at some point you're maybe younger and you cheated on her with right. women, she caught you, right? Right. And you were disrespectful. Right. You had a problem with violence. Right. You had a restraining order on you for a couple of years. Right. But you made a pass through that, you get back together, and now you can be a family together. You're letting a simple thing like a phone jeopardize 12 years. Right. Is what, you know what I'm saying? I understand. It, wouldn't, wouldn't you be more, like, first of all, I, I, can, I, can honestly, I can honestly say, I don't think I let anybody use my phone. Certainly, I'm not letting anybody send any text messages or anything like that I over my leave, phone. Leave, like, leave like, with the like phone. That'd be the whole thing. I'd be sitting there playing cards. Boom, boom, on your phone. Bop, 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 bop. Take the phone. I'm still playing cards. Like, no. I don't care. See? See? I don't care. He, I thought it was no lock on your phone. I just... I thought it was no lock yeah, on your phone. Yeah, you go. All right, Omar, you came here and took a lot to the test. You mind uh, if I sit down? Oh, yeah, sure. Good. Uh, we asked Omar, since being with Nessie, have you engaged in sexual activity with any other men? And he said no. Regarding those texts on your phone that Nessie found, did you send them? He answered no. Gave the test to him twice, and the results came back inconclusive. Inconclusive? How was that? They came back inconclusive. See, we don't make up findings. We, we, we get the results, and I have to read them exactly what they are. And that's the worst result we can get. I would like for him to pass, because I don't want to see your family broken up. But I, And if he didn't pass, I tell you, hey, he didn't pass. But if you would like to come back, if, but but that's up to him. Yeah, that's, that's what I was about to say. He can't, can't give it up, back. right? He's not. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So you're not. So right? you uh, won't even do that for for this, like for mean? your family, like. What? If I stop smoking? Yes. I would. Let's see. It, it'd kill me, but Let's I would. See. But I, I love I love y'all to death. I would stop. We'll see. I would. And then that means that I'm supposed to come back to the show again. Does she have you're to come back? You're gonna just continue. Does she have to come back? We'd love like to have yeah. you back. You I mean, know what? Because. It is a TV show. I, we need to see your results. Honestly, no, no, no. This was hard for me to do. You I know that. I understand that. You know that. My wife just said, uh, my wife just offered, if you can stay off for two weeks, we'll, we'll bring you back. I mean, I, see, the thing is, the people are going to want to see how you're going to react, whether he's telling the truth or if he's lying. So can you not smoke for two weeks? I could. No, I'm, for my okay, family, let me, let for me my rephrase family, that. Will you stop? If this is for a woman who spent 12 years of her life and has given you two children, you can stop, you know, smoking for two weeks, right? Yes. Can you? Yes. For your children? Yes. You want to be with your children, right? Yes. Then you, listen, that's that, you'll get your answer right there. If he doesn't stop smoking, well, then you know your answer because if listen. If I love you and I want to be with you, I'll do anything to be with you. And that means if I can't smoke for two weeks, I'm not going to smoke for two weeks because I want to be with you. And, and he, you, you tell her that. I love, I, I love you. I love you a lot. Like, whatever I have to do, I'm going to do it. It's two weeks. It's going to feel like a day. Look into the camera. I promise you're not going to smoke for I two weeks. I promise for two weeks. I'm and you're coming smoke. back. And I'll be back here to pass this test. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Don't smoke for two weeks. <laughs> My name is Steve Wilkos, and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.